So yeah, so we're off to, to Nam the first day at Nam. What do people do at Nam? I don't really do vlogs on this channel, but since I've been at Nam all week, this is gonna be a little bit of a vlog. I'm gonna share with you some of the things that I have learned or relearned, let's say, while I've been here. I'll check out the map over here if I know where the saxophones are. First of all, I want to sincerely thank everyone who's watching me on YouTube and who has been watching me. This week, I've been approached by so many of you here at NAMM, people just coming up to me saying, oh, hey, it's the Better Sax guy. We watch your videos. We love your videos. Thank you for making those videos. Keep it up. Uh, and this has been everybody from people that have not been playing saxophone very long to like professional recording artists. I greatly appreciate the support, it means a tremendous amount to me. Thanks for your encouragement, all your comments, all the emails I receive every day. I do read every one of them. I don't always get the time to respond to all of you, but keep the, the messages coming. I love it. There are so many great saxophone players out there, and I got to hear many of them on stage this week or just trying out instruments and mouthpieces on the showroom floor. I got invited to this jazz jam session hosted by Leger Reed's Jody Jazz Mouthpieces and Ravner and it was some of the top saxophone players in the world on stage all making music together. One of the performers was Kirk Whalem who is one of my favorite saxophone players. He did a lot of speaking with his horn. In between songs, he had a message for everyone, and I wanted to share the gist of what he was saying with you here today, because I think it's really important. Kirk said, it doesn't matter how fast you can play or how many licks you've got under your fingers or how high the notes are you can play. <laughs> Playing music is about communicating what's inside of you in an honest and sincere way. I think this message is important for all of us to think about every time we pick up a saxophone. Now, listening to all these amazing saxophone players this week, to my ear, the one thing that is consistent with all of them is something that we can all do every day when we play. The one thing that's consistent every time to my ears is this absolute dedication to the sound that they're producing on the saxophone as well as the rhythm of every note they play and even the ones they don't play. No matter what level you are on your instrument, if you shift your focus and your attention onto your rhythm and your sound in everything you play, you are going to improve, I promise. I'm not trying to oversimplify what it means to play the saxophone, but this is really what it comes down to, no matter what style of music you're playing. The 
there's lots of great companies and people making the, the gear, the saxophones, the accessories, the mouthpieces, the reeds, everything for us to use in making music. And I wanted to quickly thank some of the people at the NAMM show this week who gave me some of their products to try out so that I can talk to my audience about them. Uh, specifically, Leger, uh, I'm playing on a Leger signature two and three quarter read. I've been really digging these, especially in a situation like this where I'm traveling and at the, on the NAMM showroom floor and I wanted to try stuff, Just pull out my mouthpiece, put it on any instrument and is ready to play instantly. Man, there's so many situations where they are really helping me out. We got some more videos about the Leger reads coming soon. Also Frank Bichon from BG France. I've been talking about their products for a while now. They've given me this ligature, another ligature for my tennis saxophone. I'm gonna be talking about these in a video coming soon because they're amazing. I really love these ligatures. <laughs> I also spoke with Rocky, the president of J.J. Babbitt. They make the Meyer mouthpieces, the Otto Link mouthpieces, and others. He actually came up to me. He has been watching my videos. Uh, that made me feel great. They've got some new products coming out soon. I'm looking forward to testing those out and reviewing them here on the channel. I also had a nice conversation with Jerome Selmer. I'm coming up to the factory soon. This show is all about the gear and it's amazing. We need the instruments and the mouthpieces and the reeds and all the accessories to make the music, right? And we need it to perform well for us. It's funny, it's funny when you came over, I'm like, I was just watching some of your videos. <laughs> but the best gear is there to make itself invisible. So the focus is on the music being played. Believe me, when Bob Mincer or Tom Scott or Don Braden or any of those amazing players is up there crushing it on stage, you're not in the audience thinking, hmm, the, that ligature he's got really brightens up his sound. No, you're, you're focused on the music being made. And that's what we as saxophone players should do probably a little bit more of, focus on the music being played and a little bit less on all the gear. Um, Yuki, did you see my video that I made about Mark Sixes? Yes, I've seen it. It's great, informative. Yeah, very informative. Yeah, everybody should watch it. Yeah. <laughs> There are a lot of people and great companies here making amazing tools for us to create music with, and it's very impressive. But the truth is... But the truth is, the gear is not nearly as important as we often think it is. This week, as I've been introducing myself to some of these amazing players, I would take a glance at their instruments or some of their gear, and I'd say to myself, really, they're playing that? You know, it's kind of surprising sometimes. But the fact is, you can make amazing music on just about anything in this room. Once again, thank you to everybody who came up to me and said hello and told me they appreciated the videos and liked what I was doing. It really means a lot to me and it's kind of renewed my energy to make these videos. If you're not already subscribed, what are you waiting for if you watched this video all the way to the end? If you like this video and other videos like it, click the thumbs up button. Go ahead and share this with anybody else you think may be interested. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Hey, hey.